Hello, this is our Hot Topic presentation on charter schools. This presentation was prepared by Catherine Commissar, Nicole Lara, and Ashley McKay. What is a charter school? A charter school is a public school that operates under an independent contract with an authorizing agency. It's tuition-free, tax-funded, it can provide instruction for grades K through 12, and charter schools typically have more flexibility and autonomy than district-operated schools. Um, we have a little clip here that will better explain what a charter school is. A charter school has the ability to be more flexible. It's more agile. It's faster on its feet in terms of being responsive to the needs of students, to the needs of teachers, to the needs of the family, to the needs of the community. It can move and it can change. Families need choices. They can choose to apply to a bilingual school. They can choose to apply to a science-focused school, a math-focused school, or STEM program. I really like this school because it gives us things that we really didn't get in our other schools. You hear students talking about their future in college through college and with a college degree. When I grow up, I want to be a school teacher. I might be a lawyer and a president. And that's the beauty of charter, is having those higher expectations. I'm getting back to the root of why I teach. We don't give up. Whether you will get it the first time, or in a small group, or one-on-one. -on -one. It's our responsibility to make sure that you will get it. You have to figure it out, and they're going to help you figure it out till you get there. It's 100%, 100% of the time. So now I see people saying, oh, I'd love to get in that school. Do you know where I can get in there? And I said, no, <laughs> just line up and put your name down. Our students are going to be college bound. They have options, definitely about possibilities and not limits. So why were charter schools first created? Charter schools were created to offer a choice, competition, and innovation to parents seeking a better education for their children. Ray Booty first conceptualized the idea in 1974. The idea first caught on after the 1983 landmark study, A Nation at Risk, showed that American schools were behind. In 1991, the first charter school opened in Minnesota. So, um, what are the pros and cons of teaching at a charter school? Uh, charter, some of the pros are that charter schools have more flexibility. Um, they have very committed parents. It's a smaller environment with smaller groups of students. It's an empowering environment and um, a customized education. And there is at-will employment. Some of the cons of teaching at a charter school are that there is potential for overwork. Teachers at charter schools typically work many, many hours. Um, there's a smaller paycheck, so the charter school teachers typ typically earn 10 to 15 percent less than traditional school teachers. The management quality can have some uncertainties, and um, there's potential for a decrease in diversity, and there's also no union and no tenure. So those are some of the cons of teaching at a uh, charter school. So how do you start up a charter school? You need to make a proposal to your local school, school board or state education board, depending on your state. They sponsor your child. They need, uh, sorry, your charter. They need you need to show that you have the financial wherewithal to pay the salaries of all employees. You need to show that you have a large enough enrollment to receive the funds per pupil to cover the expenses. All schools are businesses in a sense, public, private, and for-profit and non-profit. So the authorizers are the entities that decide whether to approve a new charter school. They monitor them and um, can close them. Most authorizers are local school boards, but authorizers can be other types of entities as well, such as universities or independent state agencies. 
So when an organization wants to create a charter school, it first has to identify which authorizer oversees charters in its municipality or state. Authorizers application process vary from state to state and within states. What are the steps to becoming a charter in California? So, um, in an interview with Catherine Possier, assistant principal of academics at Grimway Elementary, she explains that one process Grimway School in Kern County went through to become a charter. She started, she shared that in Arvin, California, the school district denied their petition so that they had to go to the county. In Schaefer, California, the Richland School District approved their charter. In Arvin, the county oversees the charter, whereas in Schaefer, the Richardson School District has oversight. The schools are reviewed annually and petition reviewed every five years. Do charter schools have to become WASC accredited? The WASC accreditation is not required. However, most charter schools do want their children to go to college, so they do, uh, most do pursue the WASC accreditation. Um, does the charter, does the state monitor charter school programs and services for English learners? Yes, all federal requirements, some state requirements apply to charter schools. Reviews are conducted in the same manner for charter schools as for other public schools under the state's categorical program monitoring process. Um, the issue of charter schools has become a hot topic in political circles. Their existence can be seen as a threat to traditional public schools. So are charter schools a threat to traditional public schools? Um, there's a movie out now called uh, Backpack Full of Cash starring Matt Damon and this movie addresses this issue. So I've attached the trailer and I'm going to play it. Okay, I'm going to play it for you. The vision of American education, the school that would be open to the rich and poor alike, that institution is endangered. Public schools represent over $600 billion a year of government spending. Reformers say all that money can be managed more efficiently if the system is run like a business and parents shop around for the school of their choice. This is about choice and accountability, providing a great education at every child. Our children have a backpack full of cash and the school should vie for the privilege of having that backpack turned over to them. The district's money is being shifted to charter schools. They've become aggressive and entrepreneurial. How is it possible to cut anymore? This is serious. <laughs> The public simply doesn't understand that their public schools are being taken away. They are robbing our kids! It was about privatizing, not improving public education. What's desperately unfair is to pretend that that's public education. It's absolutely not. It's an opportunity to be on islands of privilege amidst a sea of inequity. Schools that receive taxpayer dollars report that men and dinosaurs gathered together. The Bible says spanking a child won't kill him, you know, if you do it right. In online schools, it'd be 40% of savings to taxpayers. There's no high-quality research that shows that this is a good method of teaching and learning. My daughter spent 30 days just taking standardized tests. I've sat through those classes. I could barely sit still for 42 minutes. They're asked to do it for 12 years. in this city is morally bankrupt. We are leaving our children out in the dark. We're here.
here to support all children, and you're not serving that diversity. If you provide enough resources to a school district, and you help that district use those resources wisely, you get these improbable and fantastic scholars. I need a fully funded public education simply because I deserve it. This is our challenge. Speak up, act up. History will judge us by what we do now. So that's a little look at that. Um, California um, has some possible changes for its charter schools. Governor Gavin, Gavin Newsom, a longtime ally of teachers unions, signed a bill that now requires more operational transparency from charters. The Assembly Education Committee in the state capitol approved three bills that will impose significant restrictions on charter schools in California. So Assembly Bill 1505 would remove the ability of the State Board of Education to approve a charter application after it had been denied by a local school district or a county office of education. AB 1505 would also allow districts to consider the possible negative financial impact of a charter school on a district when deciding whether to grant a charter. Assembly Bill 1506 would place a cap on charter school schools in the state at the number in operation on January 1st, 2020. And Assembly Bill 1507 would prohibit charter schools from opening additional schools outside the district where they received their original charter. If passed, what would happen to charters? If approved, the bills would eliminate the right to appeal to the county or the state if a district denies a charter application, place an unspecified cap on charter schools, allow charter applications to be rejected based on financial impact on a district, and prevent charter schools approved in one district from setting up in another. So. California Charter Schools. California has 660,000 660, students in 1,323 charter schools, comprising just over 10% of the state's public school population. StandForAllStudents.org asks for the community support in the following ways. AB 39 achieve fair and equitable funding for all public schools in California. Oppose AB 1505, 1506, 1507, and SB 756 to stop legislation that would close schools that serve California's most vulnerable students and limit further opportunities in areas where we need them most. Support AB 575 to close the achievement gap among African American students by expanding funding for the lowest performing student subgroup. Support AB 4740 to help increase to facilities for classrooms in unserved neighborhoods. So, um, anyway, after a school, a uh, a charter school conference at the state capitol in March. Charters from all over the state united to stand for all students. Their hashtag was hashtag stand for all and wanted to let everyone know, they wanted to let everyone become aware that charter schools are public schools. This was backlash to the approval, to the approved bills against the charters. So our final slide is um, cites our sources and we hope that you gain some knowledge about charter schools.